Hello everyone, Darren Verasami here from 34 Strong, where we create great places to work. 2020 has been a year that has been riddled with uncertainty in so many different forms. Throughout this uncertainty, what do we know? As a leader of an organization, as a manager, as a boss, people want certainty. And there's four key habits that I wanted to unpack for you today that will show you what some of the best bosses have done to lead strong in times of uncertainty. There's a great book that's called Strengths-Based Leadership, and I've got some notes here I wanna share with you, and it really identifies what the four needs of followers are. So why is it that people follow? Well, they follow when these four needs are met. The first need is trust. The second is compassion. The third is stability. And the fourth is hope. The best bosses have been able to do very, very intentional things, and they have habits that show up strong in times of uncertainty, and they've been able to hone and develop these skills in times of uncertainty to create teams that are engaged and showing up even stronger. So for trust, number one, what can you do? Be predictable in unpredictable times. It's not a function of you need to be able to predict the future, but you do need to be predictable in the future. How you're going to respond, how you're going to act, that's something that people can count on as a level of certainty in their life. Number two is compassion. And I want you to say this out loud. Compassion. People's responsibilities have changed. The way that they work has changed. The way they operate has changed. What they're feeling from what's going on in the world and all of its different forms of uncertainty are causing different responses out of people. As a leader, we can individualize our communication, identify how it is that people best learn, what they're feeling, that can really help open up how they're going to show up and it shows compassion. Guess what? When we're compassionate as leaders and understanding where people are at, how they're experiencing this storm and connecting with them on a human level, it also does what? It builds trust. The third need is stability. And that's a function of providing psychological safety, right? So it's psychological safety and avoiding tunnel vision. That's a big part of what we are called on as leaders to do to show up successfully. So by providing psychological safety, an employee, a team member, needs to feel that they are safe in coming and talking to you and sharing where they're at, how they're feeling, not that you're going to shut them down on first pass. Those pieces create that stability that establishes a level of normalcy, and that creates certainty as well. In a sea of uncertainty, what is it that people want more than anything? It's certainty. You have the power to give that to them as a leader. Number four, the fourth habit, is hope. Look, hope is critical. It's one of the most precious assets that we have in any season of turmoil. Hopeful workers, they're more resilient, they're more innovative and agile. They're better able to plan and navigate obstacles as well. Isn't that who you want to have in your corner? It's on us as managers to think of the ways that we can inspire some hope in our people, even in a situation that's wrought with uncertainty. Maybe it's the conversation that they're able to have with you that maybe you weren't able to have before. Maybe it's the fact that they are feeling like they can celebrate with you. The fact that maybe they had a kid graduate from high school or college. That provides those little nuggets of hope and that can change somebody's whole state. That's gonna impact how they're showing up. So I hope you enjoyed. These are some of the four of the habits that the best bosses have honed and developed over the years to really show up strong and lead strong in times of uncertainty, no matter what that season looks like for you. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you heard and you want to actually read the blog post on this for a little more depth on what certainty anchors are, be sure to check out the link below in the notes. We'll catch you next time.